Hello and welcome to Future News. My name is Carlos Valenzuela. And I'm Norma Vasquez. This is our second to last newscast of the semester. Breaking news are coming out at the, at the end of the newscast, so stay tuned for that. Future News starts right now. In Norma, the end of the semester is actually here already. It's it crazy how time passes by so fast. Oh my goodness, and finals all over the place. All over the place. I have two exams tomorrow. I have one exam and a final presentation. Wow, so someone will be pulling an all-nighter tonight. Oh yes, I will. What about you? I, as well. Yes. All night. From <laughs> now until like 3 or 4 a.m. Well, everyone, good luck on your finals. And in local news, a former student of HIZ, HIZ Shutter Schools has accused an HIZ police officer of sexual assault. According to authorities, Calvin Williams has been put on payment leave and the case is currently under investigation. Twelve deaths have been reported due to the outbreak of tornadoes in the south. Speaking of weather, Carlos, um, there has not been rain in the longest time, but Sunday and Monday, it's going to start to rain. definitely some rain. I was like looking at the grasses and the trees and it's like dying. So we'll definitely need some relief from the, you know, for the hot weather here in Texas. Hopefully it will rain and it will be. get some cooler weather here around here. Yes. In the same news, former President George W. Bush was joined by seven-time Tour de France winner Lance Armstrong on the last day of a 62-mile mountain bike trail ride with 15 veterans from the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq who lost their limbs in combat. And this bike ride was actually the first for President Bush in a long time. According to Lance Armstrong's Twitter, the president was actually more fit five years ago than now. Obviously, it was a joke, but... So it seems like all of them had a fun, and it was actually for a good cause. Like I said, it was on benefit of all these 15 veterans who lost their limbs in the wars in, in Iraq and Afghanistan, so good for them. Speaking about presidents, in national news, we do not have time for this silliness, was said today by President Barack Obama in regards to the persistent rumors that Obama was not born in the United States. His original long-form birth certificate was released Wednesday by the White House. And Norma, now we go to our international correspondent, Ana Gallegos, who actually tried to make it to London for this weekend and to cover the wedding for our newscast, but... She is stuck at the UC. For some reason, she will have to explain to us when she comes back. Anyways, Ana, take it. <laughs> Nearly 500 inmates tunneled out of a prison in Kandahar, Afghanistan. The Taliban has confirmed that they are responsible for digging the 1,000-foot tunnel. So far, 65 escapees have been found by the U.S. military. The royal wedding between Prince Williams and Kate Middleton will take place this Friday morning and the British government is making sure that there will not be any problems. Six anarchists who are planning to protest the wedding have been arrested. The Muslim extremist group Islam for UK has also called off their protest of the wedding. And that's what's going on in the world today. Thank you, Anna, and speaking of the royal wedding, someone, you actually, will be having a royal wedding watching party at 2 a.m. She's waking up at 2 a.m. in the morning. That's well, I'm going to be there. She invited me. I feel oh, really? so honored. Well, I never got the memo, Anna, so... Well, not even... I mean, I don't know if I'll wake up that early, but at least you could have invited me at least. But hey, um, you had to study for your finals. I'm going there after studying for my finals. So you'll be having an end-of-the-semester party. Yes, but finals first. Study, study, study. Watch the movie. Well, you can have yes. fun for one night. It's okay. And, you know, it's... It's like a historic event, so everyone who wants to watch it, you know, wake up at 2 a.m. in the morning or around 3. By the way, tell me, what do you think of Kay Middleton? Um, I think he can do it a little bit better. Well, some people are jealous in the room, right? I'm just kidding, you guys. I wish them the best. Yeah, right. Hey, Carlos, um, you were saying something about Twitter. They have a Twitter account? Definitely. Now people can be more connected into the royal wedding through the social websites. Now you can actually, people can go and comment, post pictures, comments, and follow the whole event through their online, through online by going to Twitter. The organizers of the event have created a Twitter account which is at, at RW2011. And like I said, people can go there, comment, post pictures, get in discussions, I don't know, comment on the wedding dress and how bad she looks or how good she looks. You know, so it's like definitely a big, big event and people at the, in Buckingham Palace are taking it to the social network now. So speaking, the first time they do that, by the way. Speaking of big events, you said we had breaking news. We actually do have breaking news, so it might be sad news. So. It is sad. It's really dear to my heart, this news that we're about to unveil. Well, after, you know, three or, what was it, three or four months, or maybe less, two or three months of being mm -hmm. in future news, 
I am actually going to Germany as a correspondent for this newscast. So as you can see, we're getting money in this program. They're sending me all the way. So I'm, I'm in a way happy and sad. So I'll be reporting from there and what is going on in Europe and actually traveling for a whole year. So EGMN is doing pretty good. I'm excited. I'm going to miss <laughs> you, Carlos. Well, we can like definitely Skype from time to time. And so yes. and, and also you'll be watching me. Like I'll be sending reports. Yes, and he'll still be here next week. So my last, my last two weeks in future news. So I'll be preparing myself for my German experience and my German, you know. Yes. So we'll see. And now the big question is who is actually going to take over my spot? That's going to be, you know, we're going to be keeping you posted on that. Yes, we'll be keeping anything. you yes. posted. You will not find out until next semester, but keep watching to find out. And that's it for this edition of Future News. My name is Carlos Valenzuela. And I'm Norma Vasquez. You can keep informed by going to www.uhelgato.com. See you next time. Have a good one. Ciao.